Hello, this is my um, website area. I have all my files in here. And this file right here is one I did for a client on Elance not too long ago. It's basically a bingo card generator, safety themed bingo card generator, and I created a, a comment right on the top to help the uh, client understand that she could change the variables here. So here's all the variables. And these variables represent the different items that are having to do with safety and then um, I, I set them into an array I created an into, I created a can a variable called canvas and use I used the image true color function to set it at, the, at 500 by 550 pixels then I, then I allocated a color with the RGB values of 195, 245, and 240. Then, uh, starting on the 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 first and top left, starting on the top left, I filled the canvas with this color. Then, I created a new color. And this was called black, and obviously zero 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 for the RGB values then I went on to um, create a line starting points were zero fifty ending points were five hundred and fifty okay I'm just gonna go, over, go through this pretty quickly then you'll notice that I made another line with that's 51 instead of 50 on the y and same with same with the and same with the uh, other y and that's because I wanted to make the line appear thicker then going down I I slashed some lines like across all of the canvas in different directions I measured it out very carefully to make sure that it was basically like making a making a grid with all these lines. I now we go down. Text color was black, and Here's where I start creating an erase. So if we go back up, you can see. Basically, each word well the thing is that not the interesting thing here is that I did this when I did this not all of these not all of these items were were one word that's why I had to split each of them into a separate array after after taking them out of the main array then what I did after that was I was able to Rand so I randomized the I have randomized the shuffle at the beginning the shuffle right here was so that all of these values would be randomized and here it gets more interesting okay here I set it so that I, I I put some offsets for the um 
some offsets for the words when they and when they were when they were more than one word because more than one word would overflow over the um the individual squares of the, in the bingo cards obviously so i had to so if this, first of all i had to make a condition that if the total of the total length of the string was bigger than 10 then subtract the then subtract the the position starting position by 28 pixels and if the if the if it was greater than 6 but smaller or equal to 10 then the subtraction would be 15 pixels and then the next one would be would be bigger than four, smaller than or equal to six, would be ten pixels. Then basically after that. Okay, let's go down. Then I in so I added add the add variable to y to so that it would but that wasn't gonna do anything because it was zero. Well, actually, at this point, it's probably bigger than zero, but but so what happens is I increment the uh, no actually I increment the add variable by 15 every time that the first action has been completed so that means that for each new entry it would appear 15 pixels to the right of the previous entry so that they fit in the inside of the grid the horizontally there was a um the different squares so i put them in the different parts horizontally and then I, we can go down now and this is basically the same now it's a repeat of that same idea basically I just had to move keep moving them moving them along horizontally now also I bumped it down. The second word I would bump down vertically. So we go down and this just repeats except these are this is the next row you can see that x is a different value for each time this code repeats I probably could have done it in a way that probably in the future I'll try to do it in a, what, these kind of things in a way that the code won't be as repetitive but for now this is what I did so So what's going on here is basically here we're looking at the uh, length of the strings each for each variable and value. Basically, it means that for each of the words in each in each 
of the array of or, of of items for each for each word in each item they have to be shifted to the left if they're, they're bigger than a certain amount of characters and also so basically add and subtract begin as zero but then um you can see that on the canvas i put um I, I add a value to the y axis and I just I, I haven't done I, this was quite a while ago but. and um then at the bottom you output the content basically the words were treated separately because if I didn't treat them separately they would have always run over the edge of the the cute the uh, square in the in the grid that I created so basically you can see that this over here right here what's going on is for every new word we increment 15 pixels to the add variable so when the next time if there's another word if there is then add will be equal to 15 already instead of 0 and then adding the y to to add will result in the next word being 15 pixels below the last one so that's what I did there then at the very bottom it there's the image JPEG output and the image destroy canvas because we no longer need the canvas variable and we're discarding it. So that's about it.